the Calgary Flames have hockey fans buzzing in anticipation of a long playoff run come springtime, but 17th Avenue bar owners are hoping a giant toll doesn't sink the party. Construction along 17th Avenue was set to enter its third year this spring as part of a $44 million project to rebuild the road, upgrade facilities and improve pedestrian access between McLeod Trail SE and 14th Street SW but with the Western Conference leading Flames entering the NHL season home stretch in an unusually favorable position, and a deep run at the Stanley Cup seemingly possible, that construction could leave the Red Mile tradition in jeopardy, not having that revenue will cost 17th Avenue a lot of money, especially now where the avenue is very, very slow in. Our property taxes are absolutely ridiculous, said Harry Dimitriotis, owner of Jameson's Pub, a group of us in the bar industry and even some retail outlets have asked to get that delayed at least a few weeks so we can get a few rounds because Calgary's clearly going to make it into the playoffs. Construction work continues on 17th Avenue SW. In Calgary on Tuesday, May 9, 2017. Gavin Young, Post Media Network Dimitriotis said the contingent of bar owners met with the city's construction team last week, asking to push back the resumption of road work from its set date of April 1st. He said the city has been receptive to the idea, although nothing has been finalized yet, it would be ideal if we had the entire playoff run from strictly the bar perspective, but there is another side to that, which is if the start delay is too long, then they may not complete this year and they might have to go into next year. and that affects a lot of the other businesses around who don't want that to happen, he said, we're trying to find a happy medium where they can more than likely get it all done this year and at least give us some kind of a playoff run. On its website, the city says an updated construction schedule would be available in early 2019. Count. Sean Chu said he's all for prioritizing the Flames' playoff party since it would help struggling businesses, but holding off until June, should the Flames make it all the way, is likely too long to wait. There's got to be a way to work around it, Chu said. Bar owners along the Red Mile on 17th Avenue. SW are asking the city to hold off on construction if the Calgary Flames make it into the playoffs. Darren Makovachuk, Post Media Darren Makovachuk, Darren M-A-K-O-W-I-C-H-U-K, Post Media, we know that they're in the hockey playoffs and the area business is going to be picking up quite a bit, especially the Red Mile, we build to a certain point to make it safe, people can walk on it, whatever, and then stop construction and get this going until after. The price tag might be higher but we've got to think for the citizens of Calgary, the tradition, born out of the Flames' unlikely run to the Stanley Cup final in 2004, has been renewed sparsely over the years during brief appearances in the playoffs by the local squad. But currently sitting first place in their division and conference, second only to the Eastern Conference leading Tampa Bay Lightning, many Calgarians are hopeful that the Flames can give them reason to celebrate again this year. Dimitriotis called Red Mile traffic a massive, economic boon, it's huge. When the team isn't good for a couple of years, it's not only that you're not getting the playoff business, he said. During the season, there's very little turnout because people just watch some games at home or whatnot. There's not a lot of interest, but he said interest is already ramping up, they're winning a lot, they're second place in the entire league, Dimitriotis said. It's exciting, it's great and we're hoping not only will they let the avenue stay open but maybe the city will get behind an initiative to really push people down 17th Avenue, shoots at postmedia.com, twitter.com slash Sam I Hutes.